Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, SFC Glitters, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you guys had a really great Thanksgiving. Uh, I did. I hope you did too. <laughs> Anyways, um, my father-in-law was here and we got started on a tumbler, but he took off before we could finish it. So I guess Jeff and I all just finished them together. So... But it's going to be kind of themed around his RC cars, like truck type stuff. So it'll be a good guy tumbler, obviously. I, so <laughs> I guess I'll finish that up with Jeff and I'll get that out there this week for you guys. <laughs> he did get to go see the sunset. So I'll show that here. That was his first time ever seeing it and seeing a beach, a real beach, I guess. So that, that was nice that he was able to go out and do that. We hadn't been to the beach in years ourselves. I know we live like 15 minutes away from the beach and it's like, <laughs> we haven't been in years because, you know, it's really hard to take a baby to the beach. I'm just saying, you know, all that sand and stuff. It, it's just maybe, maybe next summer we'll start going to the beach again. <laughs> I wanted to let you guys know, for those who like to purchase my glitter, um, I am running a Cyber Monday sale tomorrow. Everything will be 30% off. I have to double check. I'll, I'll insert that here. <laughs> so that'll be my first ever sale with anything. Cause like I said, I don't do sales in my Tumblr shop because my prices are already pretty low, but my glitter, you know, I, I hope that you guys are able to kind of stock up, even if it's like the fall leaves or the spooky dots or stuff, just stock up for next year. Tuck it away in your, your glitter drawer or up on your shelf or whatever you guys do and you'll have it for next year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do. I, I got to go in there. I have a lot of stuff I got to get done still. Um, I, I told all my customers I'd be getting everything out the first week of December, which is this week. And the second week of December, so that way it makes it to them on time. I'm sure you guys remember me saying that last week, so I won't repeat myself too much. I have my coffee. <laughs> He's a big guy. I love Lilo and Stitch. I, I love Disney, so I mean. <laughs> but I got my coffee. <laughs> and I'm ready to wake prep and slay all day. Let's do this. First thing we're going to talk about is epoxy. Now I have a lot of questions like in my group, people ask about pumps versus, you know, squirting it out yourself, all that other stuff. I like to use the pumps myself. So I'm just going to kind of show you how I use my pumps. It, it, it's pretty easy. I know people are like, how does that work? So I'm just going to kind of show you guys how the pumps actually work. Now don't, don't mind my pumps. I've had these pumps since I think for two years now and they've, they've worked well. I just transfer them to my bottles when I'm done and, and it's good to go. But side A is always much harder to pump out than side B. <laughs> so that's why you really have to force it down. You have to get make sure that it goes all the way to the very, very bottom. And I even give it a little shake just to make sure it's all in there. And then I just kind of let it rise and do its thing while I pump part B into my cup. And then you'll have the perfect amount of A and B mixed together. And that's one ounce each. So that's two ounces so far that I'll be pumping into my cup here. Now I'm going to be doing nine tumblers this morning. So I'm going to give one more pump into my cup here. So there'll be four ounces altogether. And these are the, just the last final coat of my tumblers and that should be more than enough to cover nine tumblers and put them on. Now let's say you're just starting out and you're just putting on your first uh, glitter layer because you're doing the epoxy method. That's actually gonna be too much epoxy to put onto your tumbler. So you might wanna go maybe just one pump each from there to do nine tumblers, depending on how big the tumblers are. Now let's say you're putting a coat of epoxy over that glitter layer. Now you're probably going to need more pumps than that. You're probably going to need, so that was that four, you're going to need probably another pump each of your epoxy to cover that glitter layer. So again, it really honestly depends on 
the size of the tumblers you're working with, if you're working on 40 ounces, all 30 ounces, those are gonna need a lot of epoxy. If it's all 20 ounces and wine glasses, it, it probably won't need as much, but that, that glitter layer really sucks up a lot of epoxy. But the whole reason why I brought that up was because I had somebody ask, Courtney Heath asked me about epoxy and how much to put on to the tumbler. So I hope that that answered your question, Courtney. Now I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit here because I know somebody else had a question and it had to do with my torches and I couldn't find the question. I couldn't remember where I seen it. So <laughs> I decided to just kind of slow it down and show you guys exactly how I use my torch whenever I am applying it to my tumbler. Now, obviously the first thing you wanna do is be very, very careful. You don't wanna set your place on fire, okay? Don't, ma don't make me worry about you guys, all right? The second thing you want to remember is not to let your torch sit on your epoxy in one spot because you will burn or scorch your epoxy and you don't want to do that. So you want to move quickly, just back and forth all over your tumbler, again, being very careful <laughs> and just making sure that you hit up, especially the vinyls. I like to kind of go over the vinyls just a little bit, especially those foil vinyls, because like I said, they hold a lot of micro bubbles. I don't know why, but they do, and they, they show up really well in there. So you want to make sure that you just come through and hit up those vinyls really good, just all while not stopping and just moving quickly around your tumbler. The third thing you want to remember about using your torch is that you want to keep it about an inch away from your tumbler. Sometimes you can get a little bit closer if you really need to hit up those, those micro bubbles on those foils, but you just do it very quickly. But other than that, you just wanna keep the tip of your flame just barely above your, your tumbler while swiping it back and forth. And that should really honestly do the trick. And the last thing you want to remember after using your torch, that tip is very hot. Don't sit it somewhere where it might accidentally melt some plastic or set something on fire. What I do is I honestly just put it right on my turner next to everything and, and just make sure the tip isn't touching anything or too close to anything. So that's, that's it. That's all you want to do. It's as easy as that, guys. <laughs> you got this. All right, we're moving on to the next question from Buddha Babe Designs. She asks, first of all, I love watching you. Oh, thank you. And all the knowledge you bring to us. I am yet to be successful with water slides. They drive me crazy. Mine keep tearing. Any advice would be much appreciated. And how do you manage to keep all the dust and fur off your tumblers? No matter how much I vacuum and dust, they still magically appear. All right, so I'm actually gonna answer that here in a second. I have that tumbler that I wanted to show you guys that I did last week that I'm about to show you here. Now, if you guys remember, I did that patch job on my tropical tum tumbler last week that a customer had sent back to me. So I just wanted to show it to you guys. This is how it looks. I put, I think, two coat, full coats of epoxy over this tumbler and you can't even see where it was. Now, it was, I think, about right here. The only reason why I can tell is because it's a little bit darker than the rest of it. But other than that, you cannot tell that this tumbler was repaired at all and it is ready to be shipped back to the customer after i just kind of trim up the edges just a little bit but other than that it's ready to go it's as easy as that all right i just wanted to show you guys that real quick because i know you guys are probably wondering how that looked uh from last week <laughs> all right back to buddha babe designs question the first one i'm yet to be successfully using water slides that drive me crazy and she says they keep tearing so when i first started using water slide paper again i don't know if you remember from my other videos but there weren't like many groups or anything like that out there that really answered too many questions but when i first started using water slide paper i had the same exact issue and through lots of trial and error i figured out a method that honestly really works for me and I hope it works for you as well. Now, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I did make a video about water slide paper that I'll attach a little link above here, or you can check it out in the description below. I'll make sure to post it, a link to that in the description below. But I honestly really recommend using Rust-Oleum's two times ultra clear. I use it on everything. I, I've never switched since I've started using this and I've gone through tons of, of clear, spray sealers and i honestly truly believe in this rust-oleum uh two times ultra cover 
But all I do is once I print out my decal onto my water slide paper is I take it outside and I do uh, one, one like swipe back and forth across the entire page and then I do up and down motions across the entire page and then I give it a couple swirls on each image and that's it. That's all I do and I've never had any issues with it tearing or ripping or anything like that. As far as the dust and fur goes, I've seen lots of people use different devices to cover their tumblers to help out with that. They'll take old uh, cheese puff balls that you get at Sam's Club, you know those giant containers, and they'll put it over the tumbler. Or they'll take the big bins that you can get at Christmas, you know, the big storage bins, and they'll place it over their tumblers as well. And they've said that that has really helped out a lot with dust and fur on their tumblers. I hope that helped answer your question today. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, what you doing? Oh, hey. This? Yeah, this. Oh, what I heard uh, heard saying these organized chaos SOC glitters is having a huge sale tomorrow. Oh, did you know? So I'm just getting everything stocked up here <laughs> for everybody. So if hmm. you're looking for glitter, 30% off site wide. And I'll tell you what. I didn't go through today and jack up our prices. This is going to be 30% <laughs> off, off off the uh, regular prices. Yes. So. <laughs> <coughs> Sale starts tonight at midnight, so i got to <laughs> hurry up and get this stuff bagged up. <laughs> okay. What a day. And there's still so much more to do. I actually got dressed only because I have to go pick up the groceries. <laughs> That's the only reason why I got dressed. But I moved on to my afternoon drink. Just drinking the... Look at that new straw. It's so big. We went to five below the other day. It's one of those silicone straws. It's huge. <laughs> so as Jeff mentioned, um, my sale for tomorrow, uh, the reason why he said we're not jacking up the prices and then having a sale is because it just seems like a lot of people are doing that. It seems like, you know, the Black Friday sales and, and all that everywhere just weren't very good. And I wanted to make sure that you guys got a good deal. I, w I want you guys to be able to save. That That's why I'm here. I'm not here, you know, I I'm only here because of you. So I really wanted to make sure that you guys got a really good deal. So that's why he happened to mention that because it seemed like everywhere we went, it was like, that's what the price typically is. <laughs> um, so I do have free shipping included in my glitter on anything 35 and up, but that's just for the US. If you're buying outside of the US, you're obviously gonna have to pay for your own shipping because that would just be too much on my side to cover <laughs> for you guys. But anybody in the US, uh, it's free shipping if you spend $35 or more on top of the 30% off uh, site-wide. <laughs> so, and that is happening midnight tonight until midnight Monday night. So tonight at midnight it starts and it ends midnight tomorrow night. So I hope to see you guys there. Also, I am so close to 10,000 subscribers. I, I might have hit it now that my vlog is up. I don't even know. Last time I checked, I was at 9,962. So who knows where it will be tonight. I just, I'm, I'm blown away. I am. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, it just, that makes me so happy that you guys are here, that you enjoy what I'm doing. You don't care <laughs> that I look crazy. <laughs> you don't mind. <laughs> and you, you just enjoy the things that I put, that put out there for you guys. I'm trying really hard to help you guys out the, or to help you guys out the best that I can with the videos that I do. <laughs> So I, I'm just happy to have you here and I can't believe I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. We have a lot of bagging to do so that way everything's fully stocked for you guys. If you want to buy, I mean, if not, that's cool too. I'm just happy to have you here. That's all. <laughs> it doesn't, you don't have to buy from me. <laughs> it's not mandatory. But like I said, I have my drink. I'm ready to sit down, relax, finish up my vlog here, help my husband out. <laughs> but if you're new to my channel, don't forget to that subscribe button so you don't miss any more vlogs. I, I forgot what I was saying. 
<laughs> vlogs, tips, tutorials, all kinds of stuff I have coming you guys this way. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.